Hello everyone. I Varuni Yadav. Today I am not going to discuss on any topic of study. Rather, I will discuss on an issue. Actually, lot many aspirants of competitive exams or students ask me this question: What are the tricks to clear competitive exam? And I gave a lot of thought on this question. Actually, it's not only those students. Usually, at least once or twice in our life, we all think to have government jobs, or to take admissions in IIT, IIM, AIMS, etc., for our secure future. And then we all think how to clear a competitive exam. Actually, there is no trick. First, I want to clear this thing. Every successful candidate work in different manner to get that success. Now, first thing I want to clear is that to clear any competitive exam, you have to work really hard. And there is no trick to remove this step of removing hard working from your way to success. So from now onwards, be clear of this fact. that if you want to clear any competitive exam you have to really work hard if you want to be ias pcs judge bank pu etc the more higher exam you want to clear the more hard work it needs. so every time to have success in competitive exam we have to do hard work but as we all know hard work is not sufficient we have to do hard work plus smart work now a question arises what is hard work plus smart work there are many students who really worked hard to fulfill their ambitions still failed i think you don't want to be that student neither i want to be that student what was left aside in their hard work was smart work so in this video i will not just tell you how to clear exam but i am also going to tell you how to clear exam in the easiest way and on the earliest possible attempt so now what you have to do is to focus on three parts of your life first studies second lifestyle of the people third habits now i will tell you what changes you have to make in these three essentials of your life the first one is habit you can study everything or you can study only limited portion relevant for your exam which seems easy of course the limited portion for example you want to give ias exam with law subject will you read all the laws all the topics completely and then give exam no if yes then it is going to take a lot of time and work so what you can do is you can mark out the important and relevant portion of the subjects why do you think people go for coaching this is the same reason in coaching they teach and discuss only the most relevant topics from which usually questions are asked in exam but time has changed now you can work hard with the help of internet now you can easily find out important questions previous year questions and important topics for any of the exam through the help of internet so from now you should focus on studying relevant subject and study topics 
which are important rather than trying to study everything i am not saying you should not study other topics but you should focus more on important topics for which questions are usually asked the second part of your lifestyle when to study it is a well known fact that in morning we have a fresh mind and have a positive energies now if we wake up early at 4 to 4:30 and then study it means we have very calm surrounding with no disturbances so if these things join together mind with positive energy fresh energetic body and no disturbance you will able to learn three times faster than any other point of the day because till then your mind and body will get tired and will have many other disturbances too and if you want to learn how to wake up early in the morning i will post a video with few tricks to wake up early please check it out so study by waking up early remember if you want to wake up early and study you should take proper sleep of 6 to 8 hour for your best result another thing is that you should not try to study for hours human by mind can only concentrate on one particular thing for 50 to 55 minutes only so you should only study for 50 minutes then you should take a break of 10 minutes and should do some physical activity rather than using mobile laptops or tv and then again study for 50 minutes study in this way will give you maximum output and the third and the last part of your lifestyle is the habit when you prepare for competitive exam you spend a lot of time sitting which can affect your body to balance the same you should do lot of physical activities best is to take long walk or running or can play a game or can join gym and for mental relaxation try to do a meditation during the preparation period you put lot of pressure on your mind which can affect your body so to maintain a balance you should take a proper diet should eat healthy food green vegetables fruits and other healthy food rather than junk foods so if you will try to work in these three aspects and try to balance these three essentials that is smart study smart lifestyle and smart habit it will maximize the output of your studies if you like this video please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more upcoming videos thank you